Does the phrase mouse jiggler give you the tingles? In this video, we will be looking at the mouse jiggler device that will keep your computer or smartphone active. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button and love will lead you back. In the current environment of teleworking, distance working, or whatever you want to call it, there's an increased need for remote workers to fool their overlords into thinking that they're actually doing productive work instead of binge watching the latest season of Cobra Kai. Most jigglers are very popular because it keeps the computer thinking that there's something going on, even though you may be at the kid's soccer game or at your three hour lunch. And you may be asking, hey, why not just set the trigger time to never or extend them to eight hours or something like that? That would be the easy solution, but a lot of companies control these as part of their IT policies, and employees are pretty much prevented from making any adjustments to these settings. So how does it work? Well, the concept is pretty simple. Basically, the jiggler mimics a mouse making tiny movements so that the system thinks that someone is actively working on it, and so it won't engage a screen lock. And this is great because it will fool the system into thinking that you're moving the mouse, so your Skype status stays active. Uh, if you have a long download, it won't get cut off because the machine goes asleep. Or if you're making a presentation and you talk too long on one slide, the computer won't screen lock. And no software is needed. No system settings need to be tweaked. I have two jigglers here. One is the WeebyTag MJ1, and then the other one is the MJ3. To use either one, just plug it into your computer's USB port and it just works. You may not be able to see it, but the jiggler is actually making tiny movements to the mouse location. So it looks like a human is actually interacting with the computer. Now, one interesting thing I discovered is that this device actually works on smartphones as well. The manufacturer does not mention anything about this, so use this at your own risk. On my iPhone, I changed the display auto lock to 30 seconds so that it times out quickly. So first we look at the behavior of the phone which in fact does lock after 30 seconds. And you can tell that by the tiny analog clock over here. Once it hits the about 30 seconds or so, it will just go black. The screen is in fact locked. And then I'm gonna do this again after plugging in the Jiggler via a OTG or on the go cable. And you notice that the screen timeout does not happen even after one minute. And uh, that's because the Jiggler is doing its magic in the background. And again, you can tell time is going by by the second hand that is actually moving right here. And then I tried the same thing on an Android phone. I changed the screen time out to 15 seconds for this demo. And once again, without the jiggler, the phone does screen lock in about 15 seconds. You can tell that it actually dims after a few seconds and then it it uh, goes black in about 15 seconds or so, and I can confirm that it is locked. And then I connect the jiggler to the Android via a OTG cable. And then once again, the Android dims after about 15 seconds, but then it lights up again as the jiggler does its thing. And you can see this about every 15 seconds. It'll dim for a split second and then light up again. And I let this run for over a few minutes and it stays unlocked. So let's geek out and see under the hood and look at what's happening. One of the big questions that people ask is whether your company can detect these gadgets. And the short answer is probably not because they're basically seen as a mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my Kane Linux box here, plug in my Jiggler and type LS USB to list out all the USB devices. And here we can identify this particular Jiggler. And then I'm gonna go and look at more detailed information by doing LS USB dash V for verbose and then dash S for a specific device. So as we look through here, we get the vendor ID, we get the product ID, and we also see the USB type the newer device is USB 2.0, and the older USB is actually 1.1. So once again, unless your employer is specifically looking for the vendor ID or product ID, more than likely they won't see this device as anything but a mouse. 
In the forensics world, one of the situations we come across is an unlocked computer which may lock up at any moment. We want to prevent the computer from screen lock because that would hinder us from doing any live capture, memory capture, or grabbing the decrypted data. And this is where the jiggler comes in handy because we can keep the computer from locking up until it could be addressed by the appropriate forensic experts. The same thing goes for smartphones. The jigglers keep the device unlocked so that you can perform any extractions or analysis that you need. A typical scenario is that a smartphone would be found in the unlocked state. And then the trick is to make sure that the phone stays unlocked until you get it to the forensic folks for extraction. This could mean having someone touch the screen constantly to keep the uh, smartphone alive. And if you're the low man on the totem pole at your police department, it could mean you may be sitting there for hours doing nothing but touching the screen every few seconds to keep it alive. So again, this could be a job for the jiggler. For more videos on Windows Forensics, see these videos here. For more videos on the Linux command line, make sure you watch these videos here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.